mini modular moments. Hello and welcome to another mini modular moment. Today I am looking at this new case um, and seeing how I can maximise um, the number of units in here. So at the moment I am currently using maths but I'm using it in quite a basic way. I'm only using it for an envelope and uh, two attenuators. So there's a lot of real estate space that it's taken up. And I've also got um, the WMD Javelin envelope, which is 6HP, and I want to throw that in the case. So what I've decided is that I am going to replace maths with um, Javelin so that I've got an envelope. I've bought two one new attenuators intelligel that are going to be up at the top soon and i'm also going to throw in another voice so we're going to bring in mutable instruments plats because that's got loads of different algorithms so lots of different sound source opportunities and of course i'll need a stereo mixer um, because i'll now have two sounds so i've bought in the intelligel stereo mixer one u um, and that's also going to go in the top and then the other thing that I had in the case originally, if I can find it, was this um, dope for switched malt. Um, that was taking up some real estate space. I realised that with this extra malt up at the top, I could use that um, because I don't actually need it to be switched. And I have the Bastel LOL which is 2HP um, switched malt. So that can be my other um, malt. And then that does give me space in the bottom bit of this rack to put in another filter because I've got the WMD carbon filter, which is a great performance tool and that can go in with plats. So let's build this alternative synth. So I have my new modules, which arrived today all IntelliGel um, from wonderful Elevator Sound. Thank you very much for that. It was Fiona who sorted this out. I've not met Fiona, but thank you very much. Thanks for the sticker and the note. Um, so what have we got? So we've got two attenuators. If I can get the box open. There we are. Very simple but practical module comes with a sticker as well. I've got loads of these robot stickers. All important sticker and um, some screws, but I'll use my Nerlies. And here is the module. And what I didn't think about, which I've just realised, it doesn't need power because it's a passive module, which means that well, I don't actually know what it means apart from it doesn't need a ribbon cable. So that would be easy to install. Uh, so we've got two of them. So I won't struggle with the other box yet. That's the other attenuator. And then we've got the um, stereo mixer. Oh, it's got more wires than I thought it was going to. Don't tell me I have to do... If I have to pull that apart to get this in, I'm going to go mad. Um, oh, I've got a different sticker this time. And here is my 1U stereo mixer. I've dropped the screws on the floor. Um, I'm hoping it's just going to plug in via that because I don't want to have to wire that in. Um, I think that's if it's going straight to the output, which it isn't because I've already got an output um, so hopefully I won't have to do that because that is well fiddly and it will mean dismantling half the modules out of that case um, but yeah we'll see if we can get this in and get it working. <laughs> So I thought I had enough ribbon cables that I preempted might need to go into this section when I took maths out. So when I built this case, I made sure there was three ribbon cables spare. But 
now because I've put in this switch malt, which actually needs power, um, I haven't got enough. And there's not enough at the back of here to get another ribbon cable in. Um, there is a slot over here, but is that going to be long enough? And it probably means that I'm gonna to have to take all these cables out and do a bit of faffing around, which is exactly not what I needed to do because I don't wanna unpatch anything. But um, yeah, this is the uh, delights of trying to think things through and failing. Beep boop. Beep boop is great. He fixed our Turing machine for us. And he has lots of really cool modules as well. And my work here is done. Hopefully I've kind of patched this right-ish. We'll see what happens when we plug it in. But now we've got two voices, so we've got options for live performance, which is very exciting. <laughs>